Right everyone, I'm back. Um, what I've got now is a nice fancy doily, skewer, little rose, nice ribbon which I can pull tighter if I want. I got a different one just in case, a ribbon flower, a couple of bead caps, a needle and a thread. If I can get hold of mine. Now, I like making these because they're cute. So I'm just going to thread the needle and put a knot in the other end. And this is a, a wax thread I'm using only because it's the only one I could find. <laughs> Oh, I've just spotted where mine is. Oh, never mind. That'll save it getting caught up. So, what we're going to do is, um, at the top I want this gathered. So, I'm going to actually run a stitch here. I'm just going to start it like that for now. It's just to... Oops. Oops, catch that. See, my scissors, uh, my, when I'm sewing, catches on everything. Okay, and then I'm just going to weave in and out of these holes that are already there. Really, little, little. There we go. Choose a nice doily because uh, they look prettier, obviously. Although you can decorate yours up. You don't have to use a doily, you can use material. Just cut a circle, that's all you need, a circle. But if you're using plain material, then you will need something like lace for the top. Like a little gathered lace or something. So we've got that, and just pull that in. Oh, a little bonnet. <laughs> now, take your bead, uh, your skewer, and the biggest bead cap you need to put on like that. So what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of glue in there, just to hold it in place, like that. Then you pop that inside and you want the centre of your doily, which is there for me. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the outside as well. Oh, come on, glue stick, don't mess about. So just I just put it on there and then just pop that in the centre. I've got, I nicked a little hole just in there, see, like that. Just hold that. I love these little ones. And then you take your other bead cap and you have to place that in the centre as well. But what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of glue on the stick and just hold that down like that. Okay? And then you pull your thread around like that. See? And you, I'm going to poke this and find out where it is. Where's my thread? Here, somewhere. Poke that back through and pull that tight. And then what I need to do is just 
stretch that up using this thread to wrap around the whole thing. I can take it off the needle now. Oops. I'm pulling that really tight. I mean, it's going to flop back down, but you're going to glue it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But just to give it a good wrap round. Okay. Oops. Let me just, it's a bit long for me to work with. Let me just cut that. There we go. Don't waste it. I always come in handy for something else. Right, just pull that down. Make sure you don't catch it like I've just done. Okay. I'm just putting a, another little knot in there. Then you need to trim that. Don't trim it all the way down to the edge. Leave a little bit because then you're going to... All I do with mine is I just put a little bit of glue on. And then move it like that and it seals that in. So, but that can still go like that. So what you need to do is work this around so it's even-ish. Like that. Okay. Push that down. And you do the material, you don't do the wood because then you push that up like that. Let's oh, leave it a little bit, not too far. Let me just do it like that. And that's your frilly topped little brolly, like that. Now I can cut that any size I want, which I'm going to snip off. Probably about there, I think. Mm, maybe there. Just you don't waste these, you never know where they're going to come in. Now, I'm just going to take my little uh, knife and take a little bit of the edge off. Now, if you haven't got a bead at the, you know, the bead cap to fit at that end, I just shaved it off with the knife. To make it fit but this is to fit another bead like that and shave it off like that now let's see um i've got some a nice little pink bead i think we've got a pink one pink ish there's one like a little glass bead yeah, I think that'll fit. Again, we just glue the wood. Right, wrap it round the glue so you've got it all the way around. Like that. Pop the bead on. Push. Take all the excess glue off. Put that back on and let that set. See, like that. And then what I'm going to do is take this little bit of ribbon like that pop that on there like that now that might be a little bit too big but actually I like that so I'm going to keep that on as is so a little bit of glue on that And then pop that on there. And there you go. You've got a gorgeous parasol. Just make sure that's stuck. Push that down a bit more, that'll be fine. See? Gorgeous little parasol. Isn't that beautiful? As easy as that. A doily, a skewer, decoration, two bead caps, one slightly bigger than the other. And then a little bead for the top. And I just think that's really pretty. Okay. There we go. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.